and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold. It's this time we're actually going to the power plant. Like I should have done a couple episodes ago, but <clears throat> it's okay, we got we got progress done. Battles of trainers and explored Cerulean City and whatnot. Um did not battle against Misty though, but that's okay, because we will. We'll, we'll be doing that this episode. I I hope. Not promising anything, but I'm hoping. As long as I can take out these trainers fast enough. This might be because I don't edit out any of my battles and Let's Plays and whatnot when it comes to Pokemon battles. And good reason why I'm not going to be doing a Pokemon Let's Play for quite some time. Uh, it's probably the endurance run, especially when the Pokemon game is uh, decently long, I should say. I do love the music regardless, though. Man, the music in Kanto is just... Really? The writers can use Thundershock. Is that the best you can do? Forget it. Forget it. You know what? Look at that. Goodbye. I was expecting, uh, more of a challenge. Is that too much to expect? Probably. Yeah, you lost big time. And I'm not sorry. Enjoy your loss. Did they cut that part short? Maybe. Don't really care otherwise. Oh, really? Well, good for you. Maybe I should go explore the rock tunnel, but honestly, I I don't really care. I mean, I'm just gonna get the badges, do what I need to do, and be done with it. Eh, Golduck, though. <sighs> Let's go with Ampharos. Just because it'll be uh, short and sweet that way, because Golduck's a water type and whatnot. I do, I, I've been listening to some Japanese music lately. And mainly like the openings of like an anime and stuff like that. And some is just so like some songs are just so catchy. Like uh, what I listened to recently is like the the opening for the Tales of Symphonia opening for uh, for the tenth Ayala, like this second batch of four episodes and whatnot, the second set. The opening is just so good. I mean. I recommend you listen to it. It's like it's been in my head like all day. And yeah, that's like a song I can really like work out to, you know. Man, well I'll be honest, I could use some more workout songs and whatnot. Now, there's a lot of songs I need to listen to. I mean, I've been on like the cinematic orchestra choir music for a while now, but it'd be good to get more more variety. Whoa! Danger man! Sorry, that's just how I imagine that guy saying it. A little bit. Ah, I guess. Any items over here? No? Well, I'll battle you. Oh, he's gonna tell me a secret after we battle, huh? What is it? How to be a Pokemon trainer? Or. I don't know. Ah, yeah, I kind of figured it'd be a rock type. I was hoping it wouldn't be for my Typhlosion's sake, but. No, well, that's not quite the case, isn't it? That's okay, not everything goes out the way you want it to be. And I'm quite serious when I do say that. I am really excited to... Yeah, it doesn't affect Gyarados. I'm really excited to uh, start my next Let's Play project and whatnot, but... I'm also determined to finish what I have started, which is Pokemon Gold. I, I just finished Tomb Raider, and... I finished The Last of Us. Now I'm gonna finish Pokemon Gold, and... Then I'll start my next set of Let's Plays, and I'm going to take those slow at first, because I'm going to finish the other Let's Play videos that I recently started, like Bleach and Star Wars Episode 3, and once I really finish those, and I'll definitely get more, like, onto my other projects and whatnot. But at my own pace, obviously. Because, I mean, not only do I do this for, like, as a hobby and for fun, I do it for the fans, but... It's more or less just a hobby of mine. I mean, I don't see myself uh, making a career out of making gameplay videos. I mean, I'm honestly saying that when I do. I don't see the career <laughs> choice here. And I don't plan on making money off my gameplay videos. I make nothing off my partnership. I'm dead serious when I say that. Because RPM Network is completely terrible. I mean, I was hoping to make a little bit of money so I could buy some filming equipment and stuff like that, but no! I couldn't even get that, could I? Because, eh, 
my game I'm partnered with is just not that great, to be honest. I tried getting out of my contract this year, and they're like, oh, well, you gotta notify us within 30 days before the contract is over. Like, I did. It's, you told me it was the 30th of this month. And they're like, uh, no, it's actually the 8th for your information. I'm like, are you serious? And I pulled up the last email they sent me going, hey, guys, it's the, you told me the 30th. But no, apparently it's the 8th, and I'm stuck in this contract till next March. Yeah, I'm very, very annoyed with that. I'm not a very happy person with them either, so I have nothing nice to say about them. And I can't say that for everybody. Okay, I can say it for a lot of people, but not everybody. <laughs> uh, contracts suck. Don't sign them viewers unless you're really, you really know what you're getting yourself into. The rain dance, eh? Yeah, I don't care to learn Rain Dance. I mean, I can see where it's useful, but not not for me. This Let's Play is more just to have fun and whatnot, and man, this Tanta region, I'm sure, sure is uh, HE double hockey sticks talking about whatever the heck I want, you know? At least it feels that way, because, well, I'm just trying to, not only trying to get through it, but I feel as if the battles are getting dull now, until it's like a gym battle, you know? Something like a major battle. They just seem so dull to me at the moment. <laughs> ah, you, you're plugging out grass type Pokemon, so. Let's bring Typhlosion back to the front of my party. And maybe I'll come back and do the rock tunnel. Just depends what I feel like, or if I need to do it or not. Picnics, uh. I haven't had a picnic in years. Heidi? Well, I knew she had grass-type Pokemon, I kind of figured. Um, yeah, you know, I've been, like, the barbecues, like, at parks and stuff. And I didn't consider those picnics, but they were a lot of fun. I don't know, I guess the image on my mind for a picnic is, like, go outside, or, like, at a park or something, sit down. You don't have to have a basket with sandwiches and stuff in it, but it's more like just you sit down in a park and you take out your lunch and you eat it with someone that you enjoy being with. And on a nice day. That's my version of a picnic, and I guess a park birthday barbecue, or just a barbecue for no apparent reason, is for me a barbecue, not a picnic. Yeah, I, I know, I guess it, it, could, it could be the same thing, but to me it's not. Because <laughs> picnics, you don't cook anything, and barbecues, you cook stuff, like burgers and hot dogs. And... Oh damn, I want to eat, I want to go to a barbecue right now. This sounds so good. <laughs> uh, I should use a rappel here. Yeah, I'm gonna use a rappel. Just so I don't have to run any uh, random Pokemon, because I really don't feel like running into anybody right now. Kinda just wanna breeze on through this place. Well, for the most part. Don't ask me about the rock tunnel. Just not gonna bother for a little while, okay? Alright, here's the power plant. So, why you guys shut down? So a thief broke into the power plant? Been in the past, huh? Got back up and running to provide power to the Nina train. That's good. So I made off with the part that's essential for the generator. Hmm. You guys you happen to see where he took off to or anything? I can go looking for him. Could have gotten too far if it was recently. Oh. I wonder why. Who oh, is he, huh? No. Oh. You know, I can't blame him. I would be sad and furious, too. Hey, man, is there anything I can do to help? No. Oh, uh, don't blast me. Yeah, I'm sure you spent a lot of time on it. Oh. Yeah, this guy has Zap Cannon. Oh. I bet you will. No, I know you won't. I know you... Ugh. Oh. Uh, can you guys just tell me what part it is so I can, like, go look for him? I know what to get from him. I mean, what was it, like a data chip or like a... Yeah, I, I kind of understand that he's uh, super angry and stuff. You guys aren't going to tell me what part it is, is it? Is it just called a generator part? Yeah, yeah, you've told me this already. Okay, you guys are useless. Oh. Oh, really? 
Yeah, I knew that. I, I knew it wasn't Sterling City because remember that guy we talked to in the last episode, where he's like, "Oh, I've seen someone shady around here." So if we've been in Sterling City already, guess what? We can just fly there, and that'd be a uh, pretty cool. Because I don't, I don't feel like backtracking or editing much of anything. As bad as that sounds. Okay, a shady character in Cerulean City. Where would I be if I was a shady character? Are you? No, no, of course not. You're, you're the guy telling me that. Girls dig the caves. Yeah, I've heard it before. Over here? No. Hmm. I wonder where the shady character... Oh, wait a minute. I'm being stupid. I remember where the shady character is now. He's inside the gym. Hey dude, what's up? Why are you in here? No, I'm not hurt. But how come you guys are still around, huh, Team Rocket? Yeah, remember me? Oh yeah, you made a huge mistake, buddy. No, I'm not gonna forget this. No, wait, don't... Ah, don't let him go. Where is he? Where'd you go? He cannot have gotten far, but... Either way, we're gonna pursue him, whether uh, he likes it or not. So, ha! I was a rocket. Where would I go? Hmm. Did he leave town? Oh, hey, yes he did. Hey, how's it going? You know, I really don't care. Yeah, you think you're number one? Huh, battle me. Oh, really? Okay, sure. I'll battle you. But now he's not going to be hard. <laughs> yeah, we wish, right? No, no. No, he's not. Okay, Mr. Rocket, what do you got? That's in your country, huh? You got a single gold bat, level 30. Maybe I just misread that, because, you know, that's kind of embarrassing. That's like if I went, I'm the best martial artist in the world, and I go and compete in a tournament and get my butt kicked. Why? Why would you even say something like that? I mean, come on. I mean, that's dumb. <laughs> I bet he screams like a girl. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You gonna get back to that part now? The machine part. You hit it in the gym of the Cerulean. Okay. Look for the water. Oh. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm sure they'll get revenge, huh? Oh, you've been here the whole time, huh? Oh yeah, your friends in Johto, they're kind of gone. I don't care what you should do now, how about get a life? Sounds pretty promising, doesn't it? What do you mean I'm being too mean? I'm not that mean. Where's my bike? Did I never pick up a bicycle? Have I really been walking this whole time? Oh. Huh. That's depressing. I've been walking this whole game. I thought I picked up the bike in Goldenrod City. How come no one told me I didn't pick up a bike? Huh. Maybe I can find Misty now, over here. Oh yeah. Are you gonna tell me something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can not find Missy this time. Sweet. You have to do the power plant stuff first. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. What? What? Uh, yes, they are. Yes, I am good. Okay, cool. Sorry to ruin your day. I didn't know your boyfriend or the guy you're dating is such a pansy. He doesn't want to be seen by anywhere else. Some of you guys doing something naughty? No, no, we're not gonna talk about that. This game is rated E. E for every but. Oh, gosh, we're doing adult stuff. Probably. No, no, you know, stop it. Don't get me started. Let's just go get the machine part from Cerulean City, and then uh, after we get the machine part, we'll battle her. Oh, and she also has other people for me to battle too already. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's get the machine part in the next episode. That sounds good enough for me. My Ampharos is gonna one hit knock out all your guys as trainers. I 
think I know where that part is, too, to be honest. Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, Brianna, what do you got? Seeking? I don't expect any of you guys to have a Kingdra, either. Maybe Misty will have a Kingdra or something? Don't expect her to, but if... I mean, Kingdra is a dragon water type Pokemon, and it's one of my favorite water Pokemon to this day. Well, it's one of my more of my favorite unique Pokemon, like, I find it to be unique and something I don't use often, but... Still very, very cool, you know what I mean? Oh, my Ampharos is just gonna pack in the level this, this gym. At least a couple levels, I expect Ampharos to. I expect this episode to go to like 18, 20 minutes, around that. It's my guess. We'll see where we go. Sorry, Brianna. <laughs> was that calm? I was kind of just goofing off. Let's see. No. Nope. Oh, okay, there's the machine part. I knew I remembered it correctly. Okay, let's go and battle this guy next, now that we got the machine part. Uh, come and get you. No, 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 that takes work. How about you come to me? Oh, wait, you're already dead. <laughs> Parker? Peter Parker? Horsey. Really? My amazing skills against the horsey. I wonder if my Thundershock can knock him out. I mean, it's just a thought, I mean... For some reason, my Ampharos never learned Thunderbolt. you think my Ampharos will learn Thunderbolt, Thunder... Anything... At all... But, uh, no. That's okay. I wonder if my Thundershock will knock out Seedra in one hit. Probably not, but it's worth a try. No, hey, it did! Wow! That Thundershock with my Ampharos, I'm... A water type Pokemon much weaker than her is actually decently shocking. At least I can save my thunder punches by using some thunder shocks. Uh, I really do wish my Ampharos had Thunderbolt though. I mean, I could really go out of my way and train a, a Larvitar that you can find in the Kanto region and train into a, a Tyranitar. That's who I'd have ideally in my team, but. There's no reason for me to go and do that in this Let's Play at all. So I can just level grind the Pokemon I have now and finish the game that way. Although, it's a really good idea if you're planning on being competitive and you're like playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver and whatnot, then yeah, I really recommend it. As far as the very first version of Gold and Silver, like the one I'm playing now, there's really no point going back to this one. As I've said many, 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 many times before in this Let's Play. But, that's good for nostalgia reason. Nah, right, wait. Did I just battle someone named Diana? Oh no, Brianna. Di okay, no, no. Sorry. Hey, Misty. I knew you were expecting me. Oh. I am taking you lightly. Sorry, I got a tough Ampharos, and I'm a, I'm a Pokemon master, pretty much. Okay, well, he's a Pokemon League champion. How can I take you seriously when I have a level 52 Ampharos with Thunder Punch? That <laughs> knocked out freaking Dragon Knight! <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Misty. I'm not gonna take you that seriously. I mean, you'd have to really have uh, stepped up your game for me to take you seriously. I mean, honestly, like, honestly step up your game. Oh, wait. My Thunder Shock, my Thunder Attack will work on Quagsire. Hmm. You got me stumped there for a second, Misty. Oh, okay. Not bad. I didn't think you'd have a Quagsire. Totally forgot about that. Good choice, good choice. So let's go with the uh, Sacred Fire and Fire Blast and hope, to, well, hope it knocks you out within this turn anyways. I hope so. Wow. That was uh, ridiculously pathetic. Okay. We can do this. It's just Misty. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, bad joke. I had a bad joke where I went. Like, something with, like, her being lost and missed. It, it didn't make any sense to me either. That's why I said it was a bad joke. Just don't, don't get me started. Come on, we can do this. I, I know we can do this. I believe. Well, for the most part. I'm gonna do something that has a higher accuracy, that way I can actually hit my opponent. Ah, oh, I didn't take off my 
Uh, as long as he doesn't use Hyper Potion, I'll be able to knock up the Quagsire here pretty soon. Uh, come on, Burn. There we go, sweet. I'm glad Burn actually, uh, came through for me. <laughs> now everything else is gonna be Cakewalk. Huh, Quagsire was my only challenge. Kind of, not really. Just took a little while to knock out. Ah, Lapras, huh? I can knock out your Lapras here pretty quick with a THUNDER PUNCH! Yeah, my Ampharos learned that from Thor himself. Okay, he did. She did it, but it would have been cool. I mean, come on, you know, gotta be creative, right? It's hard to be creative all the time. Or any of the time. For me, anyways. I mean, I've been more creative the past few years, but originally I was never a creative person anyway, or more logical in any way. Like, I actually liked math. No, no, not anymore, but I did at some point. I tolerate math now. Once I got the pre-calculus and trigonometry, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> Change my major now. I'm not having any fun with my life with this. Uh, but you do need some math to some extent, no matter what you do, which I understand. I also need to go, like, really huge into math and whatnot. Thank you! Thank you for the Cascade badge I won't be able to see for some reason. I'm sure that's fixed in the new one. I, I'm sure it is, I just can't remember. In this one, you can't really see it. Oh. Um. <laughs> not really, Misty. <laughs> I mean, you're better off battling other gym leaders on Johto if you want somewhat of a challenge. And then the Pokemon League. Just regular Johto trainers. <laughs> eh. Eh, uh, no. Just... Uh-uh. Okay, so in between episodes, I'm gonna meet you guys over at the power plant off-screen. So I'll see you guys there next time on Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Have a good day. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Hope to see you again, too.